All right, so we also bought these two Easter eggers in the spring uh, earlier this year. We're gonna move them from here. The brooder boxes are getting pretty big. We're gonna move them over to the run. Just let them stay in the run for a couple days. Uh, same thing we do with the rooster. We sprinkle some feed out, let them kind of eat together, so maybe they'll get used to each other. We're gonna try the same process with these, um, maybe a couple days longer, uh, to see how how they do interacting with the chickens. So try to catch them. Uh, they haven't been handled at all, so might be kind of crazy. Yeah, you have to open that all the way. Close the other one up. She's gonna fly out too. So she just jumped out with the other chickens and they all did fine. My thought is maybe they've hurt each other um, since this has been here and the chickens come in the barn all the time. Maybe they hear each other chirping and is, they're already have accepted them as part of the flock. So we're gonna go ahead and put them in the run for the, a day or so, just in case. And then that way they'll know that the run is their area and then we'll put them in the coop. So they'll know the coop is home and we should be good to go after a couple days. She wants to know where her friend went. All right, so we'll let her in the run here for a day or so, and we'll put her in the coop. All right, East Raker number two. He's so scared. They've got cool hawks. No combs yet. They look like little eagles or hawks, so. Pretty cool. There they are, the two Easter eggers. This one in the front, she was really light when we got her, and this one was the darker one. You can tell now that that one, the lighter one that was with a chick, has the blue. I think she's gonna be so pretty looking when she gets old and fully mature. So since the chicks don't seem completely integrated with the flock, they still kind of seem like loners. Um, I think I'm just going to leave all the chickens in this run today. Give them another day with all the chickens and then inside. Um, which that means. So a little Miss Broody hen here, since the chickens are gonna get kept in the run today, just feeding her by herself, she came running. She was in like a trance. I fed her closer to her eggs and she don't eat it. So she came running out when I opened the, the uh, can here. All right, we're gonna check the eggs. Yep. See if they got anything in them. Don't want to try not to disturb them. Disturb them very much. Mm -hmm. Yep. A little chick in there. <laughs> yep. Yep. They're all. So far, so good. Doing good. Yep. It's a little black in the back. Uh, I don't know yep. if you can see that one. Yeah, I can see that one. Definitely gonna have some chicks, hopefully, mm -hmm. in a few days. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
few days. What, what day? Um, Next. May 5th? Yeah, Tuesday. May so 5th. We should have some little babies. Hopefully she stays in here and keeps sitting on them. She's done a good job so far. So just an update on our Easter egg chicks. It's been about a week and uh, we're still leaving them in the run um, during the day. They go in the coop and they roost with the other chickens, but they're still a bit young and getting picked on. The rooster has to constantly protect them from the other chickens. Um, they'd probably adjust just fine if we did let them out during the day, but we're gonna go ahead and just keep them in the run for a few more days. Um, they're doing well, they look healthy, everything's going fine, but I just want to make sure that they don't get overly picked on. So that's the update. 